What's up, friends? I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but it's been a pretty crazy summer. We've had a lot going on. Every year, my mom and dad take a couple cruises, and I stay home to watch the animals, help take care of their house. This year, my mom had to have a total knee replacement, but she healed up in time, and they got to go on their trip. But unfortunately, one of our family members that was supposed to go on a trip with them got diagnosed with cancer a couple weeks before the trip, and he died while they were on it. And a week before the trip, another one of our close friends died of cancer. So as soon as they got back from the cruise, my dad had to fly out to Iowa and help out with the funeral. And then just a week or two later, my uncle's house was destroyed by Hurricane Helene up in Tennessee. So they had to run back and forth a couple times taking supplies up there. So needless to say, I've been busy at home taking care of all the animals. I didn't really have much to video. But I'm going to do my best to get more active. But aside from all that mess, I have been producing a lot of videos lately. But unfortunately, they're not for this channel. See, my buddy's got a medical shop up in Columbia, and I've been helping him produce videos, trying to get his YouTube channel built up. And that's taken a lot of my time. But I have enjoyed making other kind of content, a different production style, and I get to see all the new products coming in. And speaking of new, I got new wheels. This is the new Golden GP130 Travel Fold-Down Wheelchair. It's really nice. It's perfect for on the go. The battery only weighs like five or six pounds. And it even comes with headlights. And a built-in cell phone charger. But anyway, enough rambling about what I've been doing. Let's talk about what we're about to do. I gotta go get some crickets, some animal supplies. And today happens to be Repticon Day. So come on, let's go look at some animals. Alright, we made it here. Now it's time to try not to go broke. Not too often that I see a green tree python. Of course it's already sold. Check out this Hypo Zero bearded dragon moon crab. Check out this anaconda. Little baby. How old is it? About a year or two? Yep, she's about a year. <laughs> Check out Rolly Boys for your eyes of potted springtails. Um, yeah, I'll take some powder orange and blue. And oh, you said the powder oranges? Yeah. Okay. And the blue and the, uh, and some springtails. Springtails? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, uh, an orange and a springtail. Did you say a blue also? Yeah, I think it's Okay. Okay. Oh, that. Maybe we should sell that too. That's why I planted it up there by the house. Lots and lots of baby hollows, but I'm not here to spend money on a snake. I'm here to get supplies. But they're so cute though. So that's a toffee sink. Now this is something I probably should get. It's time to get another snake rat. And normally I build my own, but as the price is right, I'd probably buy one just to save the time. And here's a snake I wanted to buy and I didn't. And uh... Man, I really regret it. I'm about to reach out to him and go pick her up. She's a variable king snake, and I wanted to get her to breed with Mr. B. And I saw my guy, Turtle Man Dan, and I really wanted to get this baby. Baby alligator snap. That is awesome. I never touched one before. Yeah, he's like, he doesn't even react to any. <clears throat> These guys have been played with ever since the day they were born, just about. Or maybe I should just step up and get this side. Yeah, I'm gonna get Dan with him. God, how much does it weigh? It's, they, the scale says 40, 50 pounds, but it feels more like 80, 90. Oh my God. It's Bowser. That's unbelievable. She's one of my two girls. I have her and a, a boy left. I had to stop by and talk to my man Joel from 7th Level Reptiles. Too bad he didn't bring my bird back to see me. So we filmed him picking this thing out. Or what did he get? I don't know. So, so the deal with it is I ask them not to show me what they got, like to walk away before they open the bag, so that when other people are asking me, so what's still in there? I'm like, I don't know. I really don't. So I start with six. There's three left. And, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Is that and of course, I had to swing by Zippy to see Peggy right. also and to get me some gecko. Yeah, food. that one's kind of a generic one. Like, it doesn't give a specific flavor. It's just pretty. And if you saw my last Repticon video, you might remember my friend Haley. This is Haley's best friend. She happened to be there again this time. 
Louie. That's right. Yep. And was it your name's Louie? Yeah. Okay, proceed. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm, I'm sorry, Louie. That's all right. Well, that's my so, other one, Addison. Addison. Haley, Aria, Kennedy, Addison, and Christine. Peter <laughs> and Mike. Peter and Mike. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. And I ran into my man Nelson with the hog nose. And he's got these awesome giant Madagascar hog nose. I want one of these. Males are bigger? Yeah, he is. You won't match it for nothing. They just a little skittish with the head. That's about it. All you put on your neck. Definitely gonna have to get one if you breathe. Check out the giant Madagascar hog nose. My buddy Nelson's got. Yeah, got a couple females, females too. Check out these females. Two females right here. Look at Female, this one's got a lot of yellow on it. Look at it. Yeah, when he breathes these, I'm about to get one. Really cool snakes. Still want to know what their venom's like. That's really cool snakes. You don't see many of them, do you? No, you really don't. And you know he's got the skulls. Check out his little gold tooth. <laughs> I like him. Alright, so we made it back from Replicon. Pretty good day. Probably spent way too much money. And I didn't even get an animal. I almost bought a king snake for Mr. B. I want him to have a girlfriend soon. I really should have gone back and got her because she has a pretty good price. Absolutely beautiful. It would make a great pair for Mr. B. But got a couple other things today and probably spent too much money anyway. So the first thing is I had to get crickets from the tarantulas. Every now and then I give some to Gliffy, the crested gecko. But he's on a different diet, so I really don't have to give him any. Anyway, I got these stinky things. I hate dealing with crickets. Some animals love them. Then, I stopped by my buddy at Rolly Boys. So I got some springtails and isopods to put in Scarlet's enclosure. My ball python. I had some in her enclosure. And about a year ago, it got infested with ants. I had to take all the dirt out. I put it in a deep freezer for about four months. It doesn't always work, but luckily this time seems like it did. But anyway, in that process, I lost my cleanup crew, so I had to get another one. So I got some powder blues, some powder oranges, and some springtails. So I put those in her enclosure in a little bit. Let's see. And then speaking of Gliffy, this is what I feed him. Pangea gecko diet. And aside from that, I got this bag of huge rats for Scarlet. And this is why I decided to get into hog nose. As much as I would like to have about 50 ball pythons around, all the different amazing morphs. And I got a lot of friends that are breeders, so I can get some cool morphs, but one, they take up a lot of space. And as you can see, I got a tiny house. But two, cost way too much to feed them. I can feed about 20 hognos for the price of one ball python. This bag right here, it's like 60, 70 bucks. Probably 10 of them. But as you can see, they're pretty big. So I better go get these in the freezer real quick. And besides the springtails, ice pods, crickets, gecko food, and rats, I also bought a new enclosure. Probably shouldn't have spent the money yet, but I got a really good price. And I want to get Sage into something bigger. Sage is my BCI that I rescued last year. I'm really starting to wonder if she's a dwarf. I feed her on the same schedule you feed any BCI. Feed her the right size prey. She's not really getting much bigger. Either way, I don't really mind her staying small. But I do want her enclosure to be big enough, have more room for limbs and stuff that she can climb on. The enclosure I currently have her in, which I bought at Repticon last time, it's a low one. So there's not a lot of room for limbs and stuff like that. So one of my buddies that sells a lot of supplies, he had a better size enclosure. Really good price for the size. And it's got the built-in temperature gauge and the fixtures for all the lights and all. But anyway, that pretty much sums up my Repticon trip. I didn't get to make it to the last Repticon, so it's nice to get to see my people again. I haven't got to see a couple of my little friends. Lay Haley. Sorry I had such a long hiatus. 
I do plan on trying to get more videos out soon. I need to give an update on my animals anyway, because I've had people asking. But anyway, until then, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Y'all have a good one.